Mark chapter 10, verse 7 through 9. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. Before you begin this prayer, take a moment to reflect on the biblical picture of marriage. From the beginning of time, God has encouraged man to unite with woman. This union provided each with a helpmate, a companion, friend, and lover. What begins as simple attraction becomes something new and rich through the bonds of marriage. Together, the two build a life that could not have been created on their own. God uses the beauty of marriage to change each person and illustrate his love for us. From the shared love of a husband and wife to their heated arguments, the two sharpen one another, refine each other, and whittle away at the rough spots. In this one incredible relationship known as marriage, two people discover the wonder of being exposed and still being accepted. This covenant relationship serves as an example of God's love for his church. When done right, it gives us a clearer picture of how deep the love of Christ runs for his bride. When done poorly, heartbreaking pain and brokenness can result. But even in those times, there is hope. God can resurrect broken relationships. He can bind broken hearts and heal the hurting. He uses the commitment of marriage to teach us how to love and care and to be kind. In marriage, we realize what it means to put someone, someone who's different from us, above our own needs and wishes. In his book, The Love Dare, Stephen Kendrick says, the truth is, love is a decision and not just a feeling. It is selfless, sacrificial, and transformational. Marriage is a daily miracle, bringing two imperfect people closer to God and to becoming who God created them to be. Let's seek God in this prayer for a good marriage. Heavenly Father, thank you for love. Love is so much more than butterflies and flowers. It runs deep and changes us. Thank you for bringing my love into my life. Thank you for bringing my spouse to me. Almighty God, you were there when we first met. You brought us to a place of commitment. You guided our steps and I lift our marriage to you. I praise you for the blessings of love. Thank you for the sweet times, the laughter and shared jokes. Thank you for the family we've created, the traditions we've made, the memories we share. Thank you for this other person who completes me. You are in it all, working and moving and showing us what genuine love looks like and how to demonstrate love, not just in words, but in everything we do. We would not be here without you. I praise you, Father, for the beauty of this relationship in my life, for how far we've come and for what's ahead. I know I don't get it right all the time. We've both made mistakes, said words we wish we hadn't, done things we shouldn't have. It's so hard sometimes, just saying what I think or listening to understand. 
it can feel like too much for me. I try to get it right, but I fail often. Yet, you love me still. You model for me what love looks like, the closeness of it, the unveiling it gives, a strength in two, entwined with you, that promises to always hold even through the harshest storm. Our marriage has seen storms. We've engaged in arguments, busyness, and hurt feelings. When those times hit, they obscure the clarity of love. Lord, please help us guard our marriage from the turmoil that would destroy it. Open our eyes to our part in the pain and help us to stay pure and faithful to one another. O oh Lord, I ask that you may guide us step by step to learn each other better. Teach us that we may know how to change our attitudes and actions with each other so that our marriage becomes a stronger, more powerful union that brings you glory. O oh Lord, empower us through your spirit to forgive each other for our mistakes in Jesus' name. Enable us not to hold grudges with one another, but help to be easy to forgive. I place you, Lord, at the center of our marriage, that all things we may do in our marriage, we do it for your glory and honor. Father, please create a hedge of protection around us and lead us not into temptation. Help us be faithful in body and in thought. Give us eyes to see dangers and the strength to run away from places our hearts, minds, and bodies have no business being. And Holy Spirit, guide our conversations to be honest and real. Help us not to hide, but be open, vulnerable, and willing to risk ourselves with the whole truth. How beautiful it is to be totally seen and still completely loved. Help us love one another like that. And Father, we lift our dream of a family to you. You know our heart's desire, and we ask for your blessing on us as we build a family. Help us trust in your timing and rest in you. I also lift our finances to you. The struggle to pay bills, save money, and agree on purchases sometimes hinders our love. Please guide us and help us to know how to have these kinds of conversations and work together to find common ground. O oh Lord, I pray for your wisdom that we may be able to communicate clearly with one another. And I pray that the love that was there at the start of our marriage may not die, Father God. I pray that you help us fall in love with one another deeper and deeper each day. The love between a man and a woman is a mystery you created to demonstrate your love for all mankind. We often fail to show this love, but Father, we want to. We want to be all that you have created us to be. Thank you for how you use this unique relationship in my life to change me. I know I would not be who I am if not for being loved like this. Cover us, Father, with the blood and power of Jesus Christ. We are yours and long to be used by you as lights in this world. May we each grow closer to you on our individual journeys and draw nearer to one another. Please change us by your loving hand. And may we have ears to hear and eyes to see the work of your Holy Spirit in our lives. May we be examples to one another of you. Lord Jesus, as the bridegroom laying down your life for the submissive, adoring bride, the church. Thank you, Father God, for this beautiful adventure of marriage. 
I lift all my marital hopes and dreams to you. All my struggles, confusion, and frustration. Take it all, Almighty Lord, and give us a strong, full, and overflowing union that shines like the stars in the universe. I ask all these mercies in the name that is above all other names, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, the conquering Lion of Judah. That name is Jesus Christ. Amen.